Hey, what's going on, guys? How's everyone doing out there today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Well, today's video is a little bit of an anniversary. That's right, guys, an anniversary. See that bike over there? That bike right there? I got that bicycle on... February 11th, 2016 at a bike shop in Paducah, Kentucky called Bike World. Bike World. Pretty big name. Not plugging them. I'm not paid by them. Just saying that's where I got it. Anywho, at this point, I have about 5 million miles on that bike. Somewhere in there. Somewhere along those lines. Uh, this bike has started my journey. Uh, if you watch my channel enough, and you watch my videos, and you pay attention, you know I suffer from depression. Yes, guys and girls, this wonderful human being has depression. Long story. Back. Marital problems, marital problems, marital problems. Here we are today. Life problems, etc., etc. Things build up. Some people handle things differently than others. That's life. That's how it goes. That's why one person might end up with depression and the other person might end up with a bad day and then they're good. Lots of variables in there. So anyway, this bicycle started my journey. Uh... It's, it's been a struggle not only to stay uh, on the bike and riding, but to stay somewhat mentally sound and okay. I don't take medications uh, for anything, well, besides blood pressure, cholesterol, that type of stuff. But depression, I don't take any medication. I did try some for about a year. I wasn't sure if it was working or not. So I weaned myself off of them. I've let my doctors know all this. And uh, anyway, I'm going into a lot of detail, but just know that, uh, you know, I started this whole do it to it movement, mind, body, and soul movement, get up, get out, get rad, do it to it movement, all at that time. Uh, it was a way for me to uh, mentally stay strong and positive and uh, hopes to pass that on to you and to anyone else that I'm around. Um, not that it works necessarily. I'm not always chipper. Uh, I have my struggles. But it's one day at a time. And I'm always going to be a work in progress. Nothing's ever going to be perfect. I'm not going to be Michael that I was at 20 years old. Those days are gone. Uh... But it's everyday work. And I'm trying. So, I've also, at the time, November 29th of 2016, I also bought a Trek uh, FX 7.3. It was used. It's a 2010 model. So, it was six years old when I bought it. I was at least the second owner of it. I no longer ride it. It's broken down. I'm actually, you know, it's just torn apart. Don't care nothing about it. And then in 2017, January, February, March, April, May, like May 30th, 2017, I bought my GT Pantera Comp. From another uh, local bike shop in Murray, Kentucky. Called Gear Up Cycles. Not plugging it, not paid. Just where I got it. So, my bike journey's been pretty strong. I've been doing pretty good. I don't have a whole lot of miles on the GT. I just have over 300, a little over 300 miles on it. I don't do a whole lot of trails. Um, my journey has been somewhat positive. Um, I wish it did more for my physical appearance. I wish I was losing more weight and what have you, or any weight at all. But, like they always say, you can't outrun a bad diet. So, 
I love cheeseburgers. I love tacos, burritos, french fries, all that stuff. So, I'm never going to outrun it. But, uh, yeah, it's been, uh, it's been a strong four years. And before, my other hobby that, that I'm passionate about, I just don't do anymore. Because if you follow along, you know I have shoulder problems. So, I can't really do it to the extent that I want. That's working out love working out I love bodybuilding I love the whole scene I love I've always loved the human body the physique the sculpture the the just the beauty of it uh, men women children all of it I just love the way the human body looks it's beautiful and uh, seeing people that take care of themselves anything from fit to uh, your mass monster professional bodybuilders and the open class um, I love it all. I just love the extremes of it and, and how you can take your body to that level. That's one thing that got me into drawing whenever I was just a little kid. That's one of the first things I started drawing was people. Not great at it, but it's, it's still my passion. I love that. And as far as working out goes, I have been doing push-ups. My shoulder has allowed me uh, to at least do push-ups over the past month. I've been doing them. I do anywhere from 100 to... Uh, 110, 120. Uh, now I started out just doing like 20, <laughs> 25, and then all of a sudden I just started building up and saying, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and do more. And I can, I can definitely feel a difference in my chest for real. Uh, my chest was getting like flat and and just old looking, and I got a little bit of pump up to it now. Oddly enough, it happened really quick. Uh, but you know what they say about muscle memory. I worked out a whole lot off and on. I was never as dedicated to it as I have been riding my bikes. But, uh, God, I wish I would have been. <laughs> I would have been a, a lot bigger than what I was. But, uh, yeah, riding, uh, riding bikes and working out and all that, that's a huge passion of mine as far as physical activities go. I'm hoping that I can get just some very basic gym equipment again I used to have my own stuff at home and that's where I worked out um, I really don't want to join a gym because it's just more money and the people having to deal with all that stuff and then I don't have a car a lot of the time because my wife works nights so I'm stuck without a car and the gym is actually only 1.6 miles away from my house one of our gyms the one that I went to once before for a little while. It's actually only 1.6 miles from my house. So technically I could ride my bike and it would just be a little extra. Uh, but you don't want to do that all the time. You know, you don't want to have to depend on that. So I'm stuck on whether or not I want to get a gym membership or try to get just a couple things for the house. Um... But anyway, that's kind of where I'm at. I'm just kind of letting you know what's going on. Kind of my anniversary. Now, uh, I bought my bicycle on the 11th. But I didn't go for my first ride until on the 13th. Why? I don't know. But I did. So, uh, me and the O'Reilly Redux, we've went around and around. And, and a lot of you might not even know that bike. Or you might look at it and, uh, and wonder why talk about it so much or maybe why I'm getting new parts for it and not getting a new bike or, or you might look at it as a cheap brand or whatever the case may be but uh, that bike has started my journey and as far as I'm concerned that bike's gonna go with me until I end my journey um, no matter no matter what no matter if I ride it one time a week or seven times a week no matter if I get another bike or what you know a, a more dedicated road bike or what have you well, that bike's gonna always be with me so anyways guys I'm gonna wind this video down I just wanted to give you a little update and uh, let you know it's my anniversary <laughs> four years strong riding uh, I hope for another four years but you never know uh, if I start working out, it may be ride, work, ride, you know, ride, workout, ride, workout, or it might be both in one day. I don't really know. Um, I just, I know I want to mix things up 
because not only for myself but for my channel my channel is about being active and doing things that you enjoy and I love all kinds of things I hate to just stick with cycling you know but anyway guys have a wonderful day wonderful night I hope you enjoy my videos uh, I try to inspire people through food and video games uh, cycling uh, discussions whatever the case may be movie reviews whatever I try to do a little bit of something and keep myself occupied and keep you occupied and let's uh, let's make 2020 strong let's keep going let's keep pushing make ourselves better don't forget guys get up get out get rad do it to it even on your anniversary day riding your bike four years and you're fixing to head out of town to go eat some wings we'll see y'all later then go ride your bikes go work out go do something see you later